Jenny Spark, take one. The relationship I was in was very unhealthy. My husband was fit and hated that I let myself go as far as I did and didn't think I was worthy of being his wife. My father was definitely not supportive. He didn't make her feel like a supermodel. He would tell her she was fat. He would tell me that I was ugly and nobody else would ever want me and I believed him. I got married when I was 16 years old, and at the time I was fairly active and thin. I only weighed 110 pounds. I had my first daughter when I was 18 years old, and that's where I gained most of my weight. Two babies later, I was topping the scales at 224 pounds. I was in a horrible relationship. I felt awful. I didn't exercise. I used food for comfort. <laughs> I ate a lot. My relationship with food was how I coped. As a mom, I didn't care anything about myself, actually. I was kind of just always focused on my children. Growing up, my mother, what I can remember as a child was very, almost like you couldn't see her in her eyes. Like she, uh, it just seemed like she wasn't there. I didn't try to leave that relationship and have a happier life for me. I, I stayed and just did what I had to do for my kids to keep them happy. I didn't want to break up their home. She would have stayed with that man forever. That's a terrible way to live. I actually never found the strength to leave that relationship. But by the grace of God, he decided to walk away one day, and it was, it was the best day of my life. I was finally free. When that happened and he, he decided to leave, I was 38, and I had never in my life lived alone. I found myself getting my very first apartment, and my kids were grown up enough and out on their own, so I didn't have to worry about them. I don't think she remembers how sad she was, but I do. She's never been alone before. She's been isolated her whole life, and she didn't know what the next step for her was in her life. At my heaviest weight, I was 224 pounds. And when my first marriage ended, I did go down to about 180 pounds from all of the stress. I, about a year later, met a man who didn't care what size I was. And everywhere he went with me, he opened the doors and he held my hand and he was so proud that I was there with him. It just, it just turned me into a new person. She had someone that loved her and treated her right and thought she was beautiful. That's what she really needed and I'm glad that she's happy. So in my second marriage, we both really loved food, and I cooked a lot, and we ate a lot, and I gained a lot of my weight back again. I got up to 206 pounds. So when I seen that number, I knew I had to do something. So the one thing that changed it all for me was my Fit Squad, the Bodybuilding Transformation Challenge. Melissa, uh, came to visit me one weekend and her brother come up for the night and Melissa's like, I want you guys to join this with me. Uh, we need to, we need to do this together. And she wouldn't give it up. <laughs> we signed up and took our pictures that night. Being a team with me and my brother, she didn't want to be the reason that we lost. She didn't want to let us down, so it really helped her with her motivation. Melissa, she would call me every day and tell me, it's time to go work out, Mom. Get going. Call me on your walk tonight. I'll talk you through it. 
we did this together. We were in it together since the start. So she kind of had a buddy system there where I would call her and she would call me. It was very easy for me to stick to the activity part of this journey, but it was a struggle to stay away from sugar. We just made so many changes. <laughs> no more white potatoes, no more white bread, no more white rice, no more cereal. I knew I was going to give this my all because Melissa was counting on me. But I didn't actually believe in my heart that this was going to work until one day I got on the scale and it said 183 pounds. I knew that I was going to keep going from that point, no matter what it took. When she called me and said, we won, we actually won, then she started freaking out. And I was like, what? <laughs> She's like, it wasn't just me, Mom. We all won. <laughs> we got the fifth squad, the whole squad. Well, I just started to cry. I was so proud. My actual goal when I started this journey was to get to 150. I haven't quite made it there yet. My lightest so far was 153 but I'm not giving up. I will see that 150 on the scales. So when I think about 25 years ago, I was so overweight, out of shape, so depressed, no spark in my life at all, just living life because I had to. And now I've got so much energy and I love life. I never want to go back to where I was when I was 224 pounds.